Explain to me kind of the setup of these of this three camera experience that you're having on set. So you're I'm guessing you're back behind the monitors. You've got you've got your three different cameras set up. You can see everything. Are you then kind of communicating with the operators as it goes? Are you basically saying to them like, okay, sneak over there, grab that shot? Or are you leaning on them more to sneak a few shots here and there? Or are you, are you finding operators that you know are particularly expert in grabbing that special shot? It, how are you operating those cameras? Well, it all really, really depends. If I can work with the operators that I normally work, they, they understand my style, that they like my style, they gradually they start. Yes, I do have headphones like I do have, and I have my, my bank of monitors. And I have, and I communicate with them with the intercoms, right? I do that, and sometimes to the annoyance of, of, of certain people. But I do have my intercom <laughs> with them, and I, I and they do, sometimes they don't know what I'm talking about because they say first of all it's the noise, and secondly you are whispering, and third your accent is so so thick that I don't know what you're talking about. But we know how you work. So I can they, only imagine they're running a scene that costs thousands upon thousands of dollars. The special effects, there's all sorts of stunts going on, and then they can't clearly understand you because you're whispering in the oh, the frustration. <laughs> can, oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Move the bloody cover! Exactly. No, but, I love but that. Fortunately, fortunately less, it's less and less happening now because, because I try to work with people, and I try from the beginning to show people what they have to do. And I said, you know, your camera is very specific. We need to get that. You need to get that close up at all times. You have this one, this camera needs to be there, and we have to be very careful. Now, when this camera moves, you have... So what you find is once you explain the situation, the same camera operators start working with the grips and the, and, 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 and the supporting team to really achieve those shots, try not to block themselves. And then they, it's very satisfactory to see that suddenly the eight camera said, so, okay, I'm doing this shot, and in this moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it. So you can enter there, grab this moment, pull back, and then I go back myself. So it's very satisfactory when the camera operators do that situation, when they start understanding that now we need to work like a team, like a three cameras, and, and help each other. When I have operators that I haven't worked with, it takes a tiny bit of time for them to understand that that's the way that I work. Yeah. And, and But once they get it, they love it. They enjoy it very much. They, 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 they feel like and now they are part of a, a, a choreography. There is no something. They are not. What I always try to do is I don't make films. I don't like film language to be just a recording device. This is not. I mean, I don't want to be as. I don't want to make my films like look like a Zoom meeting. Yeah. In which you basically are in front of the camera. I think that that I always try to make that camera to be there. And when the operators feel that they are not just a recording device but they are part of the choreography and the action. They really, they really dig it. And they really come up. I mean, very seldom I have an operator that, that, that it doesn't do that. The only time that I have had it, I unfortunately had, a, 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 I had to tell him, I didn't tell him in the best terms and I had to be taken to, 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 to human resources now, because now they take you to human resources. What did you do? If you tell the operator that he's doing uh, something that you don't agree. Uh, maybe I did it in a, no very kind terms, but but the importance <laughs> is in the old fashioned way, and uh, you cannot do it anymore. But that's been the only time that in which I have t- confronted an operator who did not uh, not only accept but enjoy and cherish the opportunity to be not only a recording device. And uh, but that's what I do is I put my camera. The camera has got a function in the scene. It's very important for me that they understand the staging, that they understand what they are doing, because I work with the director very strongly to make sure that the staging is going to help us to do that. Then place our cameras. And then we place the cameras in the most confined spaces if needed. We have a scene there, one of my favorite scenes in Black Widow, in the little little back, back room on the gas station, the petrol station. Remember, oh, beautiful, yes, yes, beautiful Indian, which basically they come out and then the Flores starts imitating Scarlet. I say, oh, you're a poser and all that. It's beautiful little scene. Yes. But before that, they're in a back room. They're in a back room. And this is a tiny little place. 
And we're doing those things, Benny's camera with an amorphic lenses, and I stopped and I put my three cameras there. And the challenge for that, for the operator... You got three say, yes, cameras Gabby, I, in that I, bathroom? Absolutely. And I said, and the operator said, <laughs> eh, yes, Gabby, I see I can call it that. And they can give me the beautiful low white shot of the two characters there, and that will cover Florence, and that will cover Scarlet. And the beauty of that is that we don't have to have... They, they, we don't, they, they, will, they will interact, and we have all these reactions because they yeah. are constantly acting. They are not just behind the camera that we're doing offline. They are acting. So that's the reason why Black Widow is also very powerful because very like, very, very often, we, I shot simultaneously everything, which allows you to have these wonderful, wonderful moments of uh, uh, performance. 